Hey guys, I'm here at Aston Martin Vancouver and I have a piece of cinematic history to show you. Now I'm in front of all these very expensive, amazing supercars, but I wouldn't take any of them over this one. This is the 1964 Aston Martin DB5, first seen in the James Bond Goldfinger. My favorite part about this car is that it is supposed to be James Bond's personal car. Supposedly he bought it with his own money. Now you see in the 2006 Casino Royale that he actually wins it in a poker game. So that one didn't have any gadgets at all, but in the earlier films it did have all the gadgets. So Wilson here at Aston Martin Vancouver just showed me all the gadgets on this car and it has way more than I thought it actually would. It's just like the original one in the movie in the 1964 Goldfinger. This is where the oil slick comes out in a car chase. The smoke screen, to the revolving license plate, to the bullet shield, to the ejection seat. Inside, you've got the radar, the red button for the ejection sheet, ejection, <laughs> say that three times really fast, for the ejection seat. I didn't see the champagne holder, but it's got a whole swath of other gadgets and switches. You come up front, it has the guns out underneath the front turn signals. I did not expect that one. They glow as if they're firing. This thing is amazing. It's made by the QCar.com. It's a replica, but it is one of the most iconic movie cars you'll ever see. And how do I know that? Because in 2010, the original 1964 Aston Martin DB5 was sold for $4.6 million. It's only here for another week or so at Aston Martin Vancouver on Burrard and 2nd. So come down, it's right by the front window, take a look for yourself. It's worth it. Pretty amazing. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, I recommend this one. So I'll see you guys later and don't forget to subscribe.